Hey everyone, super excited to be here today to share about Game Snacks at this virtual game developers conference. We are Game Snacks, the web gaming team at Google. We're based out of San Francisco and I'm Rachel and I lead our team's partnerships. And on the video here today, we also have my teammate, Ani, who is the co-founder of the project. And we can't wait to share with you all about our mission we have a mission to make games accessible for users all around the world. Ani, do you want to tell everyone a bit more about how we're planning to do this? Yeah, absolutely. So it all starts with the games. So as you can see here, um, we have a bunch of games on our platform. This is just a small collection of the many games we have. Um, they're all HTML5 games, and we work with game developers from all around the world in uh, adding these games to our platform. So what do these games have in common? The first is that they're really fast. Uh, so they load really quickly uh, on any network that a user might be on, whether it's 2G, 3G, Wi-Fi, or LTE, anywhere in the world. The second is that they're very easy to play. So the games are all so simple that the rules can be learned within uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds to anyone who discovers them for the first time. And then finally, uh, these games, because they're HTML5 games, they're built for the web, which means they can be played on a variety of devices, whether it's a mobile phone or a desktop device that a user might be on. But you might also be wondering, where do users actually go to discover these games and play these games? And what we do is we partner with popular apps and services from all around the world to bring GameSnacks games into their services. So a couple of them are listed here. Uh, one of them is Gojek, which is a really popular ride sharing app in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. We uh, went live with Gojek and brought GameSnacks games to their service one month ago. And as you can see here, users can start playing these GameSnacks games from the Gojek home screen whenever they have a few minutes to kill. We're also working on bringing our games into the Google Assistant, which is another product from Google. Uh, and what users can do is they can ask the assistant to play a game, and that'll then bring up uh, some of the Game Snacks games, like the one displayed here. Uh, so these are very different ways that users can discover Game Snacks games in different services. And we're working to bring these games to more popular apps and services around the world. Um, so Rachel, can you tell us a little bit more about how these games actually can look uh, inside one of these apps? Yeah, let's take a look at Gojek. So here we have an example of how our Game Snacks games look within the Gojek app. You can see here that users can find the games on their home screen. Also some set of users get a notification to find out about the games. And then they can go to a game grid where they can explore a variety of different games that we're offering through Gojek or they could go to a game directly. Ani, now that we've seen what this looks like in apps, do you wanna tell everyone how game developers benefit from all this? Yeah, absolutely. We're talking to you, uh, HTML5 game developers, and we wanna tell you more about how, uh, we wanna help you be successful. So first, as we've talked about a bit already, it's all about distribution. How can we get your games in front of more users so more people are playing them, especially in countries all around the world? As we shared with you already, uh, the way we want to do that is by partnering with uh, some of the most popular apps all around the world, uh, apps that hundreds of millions of people go to already every day, uh, and all places where uh, people can go to discover your game. So we'll be working with a lot more partners than the ones we shared with you uh, over the course of the year. The second is monetization. So later this year, uh, we're gonna be introducing an ad format that makes it really easy for you to monetize your games with ads, especially when they're integrated as games embedded in web views inside popular apps. Uh, so look out for more information about that later this year. Finally, uh, we wanna tell you about how your games are doing and how popular they are. Um, and what we'll be doing is sharing with you performance data about how many times uh, different users play your games and how long they spend uh, playing those games in uh, the different apps and services that they might be in. 
So who's already uh, working with us on Game Snacks today? Uh, this is just a small sample of some of the HTML5 game developers who are already publishing to our platform. Uh, these are popular game developers, uh, web game developers from all around the world who are already building HTML5 games for other, uh, other services. And uh, what we've done is work with them to bring some of their best games onto the Game Snacks platform. But uh, it doesn't stop here. We want to work with even more game developers uh, from around the world, including uh, developers like you. Uh, so Rachel, how can, um, how can the developers who are listening to this, this session uh, work with us? Yeah, I'd love to tell you all more about how you can get your games onto Game Snacks. So if you have games that meet our criteria, which we can go over, uh, we're looking for games that are high quality, games that are easy to play so that gamers and non-gamers alike can enjoy playing these games on all the different apps that we're integrating with, and games that are fast loading so that the user can have a great experience and start playing the games right away. If you have games that are uh, fit all of these criteria, then we'd love for you to connect with us so that we can add your games to Game Snacks. And you can do this super easily by visiting gamesnacks.com slash cocos to get in touch with us. Thank you all so much for tuning in today to listen to us. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope to work with many of you soon.